Hi guys, this is Ajin Abraham. So today we'll talk about uh, network information gathering with OWASP Xenotic XSS Exploit Framework. So uh, I'm running my payload server at uh, 192.168.56.1 and the port number is 5555. So here is a soup victim and uh, now I'm going to information gathering then to network and network IP. So this module will try to get the network IP of the victim. I inject the module. Wait for some time. And I got an IP that is 192.168.44.129. Let's see whether it is an IP of the victim. So let's go to the config. And if you see, the IP is exactly the same. So this is how you'll be able to fingerprint the IP of the victim. Let's minimize it. Coming back, let's close this. And uh, another module in network is the ping scan. So we can make a ping scan from the remote victim. So let's do one thing. Let's make a ping scan back to 192.168.56.1 and see whether it is working. So I click on ping scan, and uh, it's telling me ping OK. Yeah, so it's able to ping. Yeah, so this will tell you whether the remote victim can ping to any other systems in the network. So another module is the port scan module. So basically it allows you to do the port scan on a particular IP uh, in that particular LAN network from the victim. So uh, let's do one thing. Uh, let's scan the port numbers which are opened or not in this particular system from the victim system. So let's give the IP 6.1, which corresponds to this system. And uh, let's say I'm running some services like warm server. So let's uh, start scanning from 75 port number to 81. Yeah. And let's do initiate the scan. And meanwhile, if you go to the remote system and inspect the console in the network option, you can see that. Uh, because it's being made to 75, 76, port number 76, 78, 81 and so on. And once the scan is finished, it will send you back the response. So if you come back here, you can see that the port 80 is opened and other ports 75, 76, 78, etc. looks like, uh, you know, filtered port. So uh, it gives you a, a lot more information like uh, what exactly uh, the response it got from those num port numbers like time exceeder, uh, block port, open port, etc. All right, so uh, this is how you can use the port scanner. Let's close it. Let's uh, let's go to information network, and another thing is called the internal network scan. So from the victim, you can basically do an internal network scan. So since the victim is in 44 IP range, let's give 192.168.44.127 to 4.131 and see uh, which all hosts are up. Let's do a scan. And uh, meanwhile, if you just go back to here, we can see that uh, it's being made, it's making requests to these many hosts. So uh, from 127 to 131, and uh, once the scan is finished, uh, it's sending back the response. So if you go and check here, you can see that the live host is 129.168.44.129. So that is the host which is up and these are the other hosts uh, which appears to be down. So uh, that is the internal network scanner module. So this is pretty much about the uh, network module under information gathering. Thanks for watching.